Why am I sitting in front of this hideously bright green screen? Because I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily make a makeshift green screen for your video so you can put in whatever background that you want. And I'm going to show you how to do that with iMovie. So let's get started. I can't show you with the green since I already have it on my wall, but I want to kind of show you what the material looks like. What you're going to need is just kind of a thin plastic in a shade of green. Bright green is better if you can get it. Now, I'm, I'm abroad in South America right now and I can't get a really good quality filming equipment very easily, like backgrounds, so this is a good option for me and also I am renting a space. I need to be really careful about not damaging the wall. This is a type of green screen that you can put up wherever you are and very temporary, you can take it up and down fairly easily. If you want to just buy kind of a thin piece of plastic or paper can work too, but this is kind of a thick, durable, nice material. And then I just used, since I want this to be te kind of temporary, I just used 3M masking tape. This is really good about not damaging the wall. So we're just going to move the camera up so I can show you here really quick. You can just see that I have it taped across the top. Now, the reason that I still have some wrinkles in this is because it's angled down because I'm using my webcam right now and it's kind of at an angle and so in order to cover the whole space, I needed the screen to be at an angle. So you'll just have to kind of check with whatever camera you're using and measure the space that the shot's going to be taking up. That's all it is. If you have stretched it, you do want to stretch it and tape it. Um, as much as you can and try and get it as tight as you can to have as few wrinkles as possible because depending on the background that you use um, like if you try if you put in a white just a plain white background you can still see some of the wrinkles if you're not careful with that. Now that you know how to tape up your green screen I'm going to take you into iMovie and show you how you can put, put stock video footage or stock photos in as your background video that I'm creating for you now. We're going to just use the end of this here to show you how you can work with the green screen and put a new background in. First you're going to need a background. First I'll show you with stock video footage and then I will show you with a stock photo. Just go to Google and type in free video stock footage and you can find some really great sites. So videos, I like to use this one, it's free stock videos. To demonstrate this, I'm just going to click on people and we're going to find one. Here's one um, that's a blurry video of people working. That might be kind of cool in the background. And always be sure that you check the license here. This one says free for personal and commercial use and no attribution required. You want to be careful about that because if an attribution is required, you need to credit the creator in your description. So always be sure you check the license and we're just going to download this. Okay, I'm going to mute the sound on this clip so that we can use it as an example without it driving us crazy. Right here is muted, so I'm just going to use this as our demo clip. Once you have your footage, you can drag it into iMovie or go to my media and add it. I have the clip already in here, and this is our demo section that we're working on here. I'm just going to drag and drop this here. And then you want to put your green screen clip that you're working with on top. I'm going to shorten our stock footage to match. You're going to double click on your green screen clip and you'll see this come up right here, this cutaway option. Use the drop down arrow and scroll down to green blue screen. Select that and you can see that our stock footage is in the background. We're going to play this and it looks like I'm talking in a cafe with people working in the background. Now let's see what will happen if we put a photo in the background. Unsplash.com is one of my favorite stock photo sites, so I'm going to use that one. Let's say you wanted to look like you're in front of a brick wall, so we could put in brick in the search. See, you get some brick walls and you could use this one or this one here, looks like it's painted. I'm going to type in art. I actually already have this photo. This is a neat photo, so we're going to use this one for our demo. I have that one here, and just like we did before, you're going to upload it to iMovie and then drag and drop, and I'm just going to shift my clip over here so we can test this, and this one time we need to make this a little longer to fit our clip so that it's even. And something that's different about if you use a photo versus video footage is you want to 
double click your photo and check that it's not on Ken Burns if you want it to fit. And it, the photo you use may not be the right size, so you can click crop to fill. Set this however you want. You do the same thing, double click your green screen clip and use the drop down menu to make sure you're on the green blue screen. And let's play this and see how it goes. You can see that I now have a bunch of art behind me. You can use the Ken Burns effect if you would like, so to do that, you're going to double click your picture and put it on Ken Burns, and let's say we want it to start up towards the top and end kind of at the bottom so it looks like it's moving along. Let's play it again and see how that goes. You can see now that it looks like it's moving behind me. Play around with this, it's really fun and you can do some neat things. There you have it guys, an easy way to create a green screen for your videos. If you use this tutorial to create a video with a fun background, I would love to see it. So send me the link in the comments below so I can check it out. If you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me on YouTube and helps me know what kind of videos that you like so that I can create better tutorials for you. If you know somebody else who, could, who would find this tutorial very helpful, then be sure to share it and send it over to them. What would you like to see next on the channel? Let me know. So next week, this is Lori Hill with immenselysocial.com. What is going on with my hair?